Welcome back everyone, today we are going to take a look at 2016 French horror film called Raw. Spoilers ahead! As the movie begins, a car is seen driving down a deserted road amidst the trees. Suddenly, a girl jumps in front of the car out of nowhere. The car swerves off the road and crashes into a tree while the girl collapses on the ground. A moment later, the girl gets up, dusts herself off, and casually walks to the car, completely unhurt. We're then introduced to Justine, a teenager whose veterinarian parents are strictly vegetarians and avoid non-veg like the plague. After a waitress accidentally puts a piece of meat in Justine's plate, her mother panics, asking Justine if she bit into it. Justine assures her she didn't, but the mother still rushes to the waitress and creates a scene. After that, Justine's parents drop her off at her new veterinary school. This is the same school where her parents completed their education and where her sister is currently enrolled. On her first night, Justine meets her gay roommate, Adrian. Seniors barge into the dormitory soon after and start trashing their rooms. They throw their mattresses out the windows and line them up with the other freshies to take them out for a hazing ritual. The freshies are made to crawl on all fours in a dimly lit room where they all party wildly. While wandering the crowded room, Justine spots her sister Alex. She moves past the wild crowd and makes her way to her. A completely wasted Alex turns to her and embraces her tightly. She then takes her outside, saying she needs some fresh air. Alex leads her sister to a lab. There, she shows her old class photos of students from their orientation ceremonies, where they're all bathed in blood. The girls giggle as they look at the photo of their parents' class, which they too are covered in blood. Alex tells her that bathing newbies in blood is tradition, and it'll happen to her too. The next day, during assembly, blood is poured on the freshies by the seniors. A senior then makes a speech, telling the freshies that they will soon be welcomed into the family, but before that, they'll have to partake in a week-long hazing ritual. The blood-spattering juniors excitedly repeat after their seniors as they then start chanting. After that, they all line up and walk to a table where they're made to eat raw rabbit kidneys as part of the hazing ritual. Justine refuses to eat it, stating her vegetarianism. When she tells the guy he can confirm it with her sister Alex, who is also a vegetarian, the guy calls Alex to ask her. Alex denies being a vegetarian and encourages Justine to eat the raw meat, saying if she doesn't, she'll be cast out and rejected by the seniors. She forces a kidney in Justine's mouth, after which Justine leaves the area with Adrian gagging. While going about the rest of her day with blood-splattered clothes, Justine's whole body starts itching terribly. She sits through a test that day while scratching her hands repeatedly. Adrian tries to cheat her answers, but she forbids it, saying he must try to do it himself. That night, she isn't able to sleep because of the itch. She keeps scratching herself and then lifts her shirt to discover an ugly rash all over her body. The next day, she goes out to the school nurse to get it checked. The nurse tells her that the rash is the result of food poisoning. She advises her to fast for a day, but Justine tells her that she has started feeling extremely hungry. The nurse then gives her an ointment to apply on her rash and tells her not to blindly do everything she's told by the seniors to avoid such a thing in the future. After leaving the nurse's office, Justine runs into a senior. The senior tells her that the dress code of the day was nightclub, for which she had to be dressed in something sexy. She tells her to go back to her dorm and get changed. Justine tells her that she can't since she doesn't wear those kinds of dresses. As a punishment, the senior puts her in diapers, which she struggles to hide throughout the day. Later at night, she goes to her sister Alex for help. Alex gives her one of her hot dresses and heels to wear through the rush week. After that, she grabs her mattress from the ground floor where it had been thrown by the seniors the previous night. She tries to drag it up the stairs but gives up midway. She returns to her room to ask Adrian for help, but Adrian is busy in the room with his gay friend and tells her to stay out. The next day during lunch, Justine fills her plate with vegetarian food but notices that she has developed a harsh craving for non-veg. Unable to openly consume meat in front of everyone, she sneaks some into her pocket. The lunch lady catches her doing that and humiliates her, thinking she did it to avoid payment. After learning about her problem, Adrian takes her on a trip to the gas station where she can eat meat without anyone watching. A few bites later, she absolutely forgets about the eyes on her and starts eating greedily, taking big bites despite the presence of a stranger. Later that night, Adrian wakes up to find Justine crouched down in front of the fridge. Her persistent appetite surprises him and he asks what she's doing. She tells him she's just getting cereal for breakfast. After he leaves, Justine grabs raw chicken from the refrigerator and starts eating it. The next day, Justine's professor calls her into his office and berates her for cheating since many of her answers seem to be exactly the same as Adrian's. She sits there listening to his admonition while nervously chewing on her hair. When he pressures her to tell him the truth, she reveals to him that Adrian was the one who cheated. She rushes to the bathroom after leaving the professor's office where she pulls out several strands of hair from her mouth which she had somehow unknowingly swallowed. 
Unsettled by this subconscious act of her, she goes to spend some time with her sister. The two happily chatter and spend some time together for a while. While brushing her teeth in Alex's bathroom later, Justine notices that she also has the same ointment for rash given to her by the nurse in her cabinet. However, she does not question her sister about it. Alex then offers to give Justine a Brazilian and takes the reluctant girl to her bed to wax her. While she's doing it, the wax gets stuck. Alex tries to cut it off using scissors, but Justine gets startled by the excruciating pain it causes and kicks Alex away. The sudden jerk makes Alex accidentally chop her finger off, after which she passes out. The alarm Justine calls the hospital, telling them to send help immediately. While she sits by her passed out sister on the floor, awaiting help, she holds Alex's chopped off finger and observes it. Blinded by temptation, she puts the finger to her lips and tastes the blood. The taste completely shuts off her senses and she starts eating the finger like a cannibal maniac. Alex awakens to see Justine gobbling up the finger that way and stares at her in shock as a tear rolls down her cheek. Later at the hospital, after Alex's hand had been treated and bandaged, her parents ask why they didn't just sew the finger back on. Alex tells them that her dog, Quickie, ate up the finger. Justine then takes her sister back to school on a wheelchair. As soon as they get out of their parents' sight, Alex gets up from the wheelchair and takes her sister away, saying she needs to talk to her. She takes Justine to the road lined by trees and waits by the side with her eyes on the road. Alex asks Justine if she wants to tell her something, but Justine says there's nothing she has to talk about. A moment later, a car comes their way and Alex bolts out to get in front of it. The car swerves and crashes into a nearby tree. Alex, who has collapsed to the floor after jumping in front of the car, gets up and walks to the car. Justine keeps shouting in shock and fear, repeatedly asking Alex what she's doing. Alex opens the car and observes the blood-splattered, passed-out people inside. She leans in and starts eating the flesh of one of these people. Justine rushes to Alex and yells at her, telling her to come back to her senses and spit it out. Alex tells Justine that she did this for her, so that she could learn. Justine goes into shock after this. She leaves Alex behind with the car and starts blankly walking away. The next day at school, Adrian asks her to help him with his lab coat. While tying it up from behind his back, she starts staring at his neck with hunger. Adrian snaps her out of her trance and she immediately gets back to work. Later during Adrian's football practice, Justine keeps staring at his skin, trying to resist her inhuman urges, trying to resist her hunger. Afterwards, she stands in front of the mirror in her room, wearing the dress given by her sister as she seductively dances to a song about a wild girl. She moves to the beat while looking at herself in the mirror and starts erotically kissing and licking the mirror up. She leaves the room to see Alex and Adrian sitting outside playing video games together. Adrian soon leaves and Justine takes his place to play with Alex. Alex tells her that she seems to have lost weight and that she'll turn anorexic if she continues to ignore her cravings. Justine denies her hunger, saying she was just trying the finger. Alex scoffs at this. They soon change the subject and get busy with the game. The next day, while roaming the corridor, Justine walks into a room where different seniors and freshies are present. As soon as she steps in, lots of blue paint is thrown at her by a senior. He then pulls a yellow painted guy from a seat and locks him in a room with Justine, saying they can only come out when they're both green. The guy approaches the reluctant Justine and starts rubbing the paint on her, feeling her up. She soon opens up and starts making out with him. A moment later, the guy rushes out of the bathroom to reveal his lip which has been bitten off by Justine. Justine rushes back to her room and gets in the shower. She washes the paint off her body and spits out a piece of the guy's lip she had bitten off. She stares at it for a minute and then picks it up and eats it. When she comes out, Adrian starts asking her questions about what happened in the room. He starts asking her different questions to figure out if she was aroused by what she did and if she's a sadist. She remarks he won't do anything with her even if he knew her turn-ons and goes back to the bathroom. A moment later, she returns and tells him that she's been having a killer urge. They both end up in each other's embrace, twisting and turning around in heated passion. Though it's Justine's first time, she turns out to be completely wild in bed. Her roughness startles Adrian and he starts trying to pry her off him. Justine, however, refuses to get off and continues to lick and bite him. She finally climaxes, biting into her arm so hard it makes her bleed. Adrian, who's visibly pleased that it's over, sighs in relief and runs his fingers through her hair. The next day, Justine notices that Adrian is ignoring her and confronts him. Adrian gets irritated and tells her that he spent years trying to make the society accept him as homosexual. He will not throw all that struggle away just to end up with girls again. That night at a party, Justine drinks a lot of alcohol and completely loses control over her desires and temptations. She greedily watches others as they get intimate. Afterwards, she walks up to a random guy and slams her lips against his. His girl pries her off him and tells her to go elsewhere. Justine just stands there, smiling, and presses her lips to the girls. The girl pushes her off of her, after which Alex arrives and takes Justine away to the morgue. The next morning, Justine notices all eyes following her. 
When she sits in her seat, the girl beside her cringes and moves away, leaving her completely baffled. Later, Adrian takes her away and shows her a video from the previous night. In the video, a wasted Justine is trying to bite the hand off a corpse, which a laughing Alex is using to tease her. Justine gets enraged after seeing such a public humiliation of hers at the hand of her sister. She lashes out at Adrian asking why he didn't stop her and goes out to look for Alex. When she finds Alex, she tackles her to the ground and the sisters end up in an ugly fight. Alex bites a part of Justine's cheek off and spits it out. Justine attacks her again and they both start biting into each other's arms. Two students pull them apart after this, but Justine hits the student holding her down with a backpack and goes to Alex. She picks Alex up and walks her back to her dorm. Alex bandages up Justine's wound and sends her back to her own dorm. The next morning, Justine wakes up in a bed to find Adrian beside her. She smiles at him while he sleeps and caresses him. She then slides her hand down to his body but hastily pulls it back up after feeling a warm liquid on it. She is horrified to find his blood on her hand and pulls the sheets off him to realize that he's dead and most of his leg has been eaten. She starts screaming and wailing, thinking it was another one of her subconscious acts. But then she notices a stab wound on Adrian's back and gets off the bed. She grabs the blood splattered ski pole lying on the ground and walks to the sitting area to find a blood covered and mostly catatonic Alex slumped against the wall. She puts the bloody ski pole to her head and then puts it away and takes Alex to the shower. She cleans herself and Alex up in the shower, washing the blood off both their bodies. Alex is later imprisoned for Adrian's murder and Justine is sent back home. At the table, after his mother leaves, Justine's father tells her that nothing that has happened is her or Alex's fault. Justine stares at him, confused. He then explains to her that back when he met her mother, she used to keep her distance from everyone. One day, she kissed him for the first time and he realized why, indicating the scar on his lip. He then unbuttons his shirt to reveal several scars and missing chunks on his body and tells her that they had failed to find a solution, but Justine will succeed. And with this, the movie ends. Drop a comment below letting me know how you felt about today's movie. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching, guys!